Yeah, um, a long time is an understatement. I'd probably say it's a 14 years, uh, 14 years in the coming. But no, it's um, you know honestly been um, a special experience. Um, you know, it's one that there's been so many things going going on along the way, so many ups, so many downs, and just to get to this point in time, uh, getting selected for the World Cup roster is a uh, is a dream come true, and it's a it's a lifetime goal that I've had, and it's one that I've now achieved, and it's real, and uh, probably won't feel you know real until I step step off the plane in Qatar, but. I'm mean, definitely excited about the opportunity. Can you talk a little bit about that, just your longevity with this this team as a professional, but with this team, your first cap goes back to 2011. You've been in the mix for a very long time. What is it? I mean, is it extra special when you think about it that way? Yeah, it means it means a lot. Um, you know, my first cap being in 2011, being you know being there, so many cycles before, seeing so many great players uh, that set the stage before me, um, and really just laid the foundation. Um, you know the guys before me that you know let, basically let me understand what it meant to play for uh, the U.S. men's national team, what it meant to have the crest on, um, and really just taking those things and cherishing them, and, and working extremely hard to to get to that point where I could represent the country in the World Cup. And uh, yeah, it's been my goal ever since I stepped foot in the national team, and and now it's a uh, reality. What's your uh, outlook for yourself and, and the team going to Qatar? Yeah, I think the outlook for us is, you know, first and foremost, um, is getting to this point and, and making this squad and um, and ultimately going to Qatar. Um, we're going to put our best foot forward. Um, you know, we're going there to win. Um, you know, that's that's the uh, that's the that's the message from the group. That's the expectation um, from us internally. I think we're a confident group, but um, you know, you have to to go in um, with I think a certain level of confidence, but also just uh, the right mindset. Um, we're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to, to stick together in, in moments um, when it gets tough. But but ultimately, um, it's a first experience for myself. And you know, some guys, you know, have had the experience of being in the World Cup. But ultimately, you won't know until you get there. But excited about the opportunity and just ready to uh, to live in the moment. Can you describe the whirlwind last 72, maybe a little bit longer, 72 hours, a little bit longer? What what's what what have you been living? My life has been very interesting the past 72 hours. I mean, uh, going from a very, you know, obviously stressful, you know, place of not knowing um, whether or not you're going to be on the roster, uh, getting the phone call that you're going to be on the roster. Um, so basically going through all the emotions and, um, you know, really emotional one for me, um, just, you know, considering I've been around for, you know, for so long, you know, on the national team, like you said, since 2011. And then, you know, ultimately uh, now just being in a position where I can can go forward and, you know, say that, you know, I'm a player that's that's going to the World Cup, um, you know, means the world to me. Uh, my family's super excited as well. Uh, they've supported me since uh, since day one. And so uh, they'll be right there with me, uh, cheering me on in Qatar and looking looking forward to it. Is it special as a guy that's based here in New York to get your send off and, and what's now an adopted hometown? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a dream come true, you know, to to play play in the city where we're getting the send off, um, you know, it's uh, it's incredible, um, you know, to to have the guys come here to share the experience with them in, in a city that I've called home now for for six years, uh, is an incredible experience. Um, looking forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic time, and uh, yeah, looking forward to a proper send off before we head off to Qatar. Jesus, first, uh, just tell us your reaction. How does it feel to be named to the World Cup roster? No, it's an it's an amazing feeling. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, obviously, it's every kid's dream to to represent a country and to do it in the world's biggest stage. Is it's it's a better feeling. And so for me, it's just uh, keep working, uh, and and I'm just excited for the opportunity. Uh, tell us the story of how you found out and who you told first. Yeah, so you know I was driving back from my from my brother's game. And, and and coach Greg calls me and and gives me the news and you know the first person I told was my mom and then my grandma you know I think those are the two two important people in my life that have followed me through my whole journey and so I think that they needed to know first and uh, they were all excited and happy um, what's I mean you're one of the younger guys on the team what's your outlook for Qatar how are you and how are you like mentally a lot's happened the last 24, 48, 72 hours. How have you handled all of it? Yeah, no, it's obviously, it's obviously a lot of nerves and a lot of excitement. But I think obviously it, it just shows how hard I can work uh, to be able to make this roster, and so that's not going to change. Uh, I'm still going to keep working hard to, you know, hopefully to get that uh, 18 man roster and then maybe get into the to the 11. Um, but you know, I think that's just. The main, the, the starting point is the the energy that that I'm gonna be given uh, every training and and every game. Cool. Can we do the same question in Spanish? Yeah. 
Uh, first, just reaction to making the roster. No, eh, contento y feliz. Eh, es una emoción que no se puede explicar. Creo que niño, cada niño creciendo, jugando fútbol, eh, tiene un sueño y un sueño de representar un país, especialmente en un mundial, es, eh, es el sueño que todo niño tiene. Entonces, para mí, eh, es un sueño eh, que en 48 horas se va a hacer realidad y, y contento con la, con la oportunidad que me dieron. Sí, a mí, me, ya a mí me dijeron cuando estaba manejando el partido de mi hermano, eh, me llamó el técnico Greg y, y me contó la noticia y no, feliz eh, eh, y contento que, que él me tenga en cuenta para, para un mundial. Es, es un honor representar a Estados Unidos, especialmente en, eh, en, en el mundial y, y, y contento con la posibilidad. No, obviamente eh, contento, pero bastante nervios. Es un, es un mundial que, que es muy importante para Estados Unidos y para mí, primero en mi carrera. Eh, y no, y feliz con, con la gente que tengo alrededor que me ayuda a, a prepararme para, para este momento y, y contento con lo que se viene. No, creo que... Eh, Está, es algo que uno sueña, pero nunca, nu nunca piensa que se hace realidad. Eh, para mí se me vino eh, a temprana edad, a los 21, entonces feliz que lo pueda eh, aprovechar y, y seguir trabajando para, para lograr más. Jordan, first, just give us your thoughts, reaction on making the World Cup roster. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, it's a, a huge honor to, to be a part of this group. It's something that, you know, I've dreamed about since I was a little kid to, to go to a World Cup and Um, throughout this whole cycle, just being part of such a special group, being able to represent your country and, and go to a World Cup, it's, it's uh, amazing. So I'm, I'm so excited. Can you tell us the story about how you found out and who you contacted first? Yeah, uh, Greg FaceTimed uh, me. I was sitting in my living room and my wife was there, so um, she heard the whole call. So obviously the first kind of celebration was with her. Um, and then I, I FaceTimed my whole family. Um, and told them and um, that's something I, I told Greg I was like I can't wait to tell my family because they've you know been there since the the beginning um, supporting me along my whole journey to get to this point so I was uh, you know so excited to share the news with them. You're somebody that has I think in the course of this cycle gone through two ACLs right? Yeah. Talk about talk about overcoming two ACLs in a matter of four years and still making it with companies. Yeah, <clears throat> no, for sure. There's been some some ups and downs, obviously, over over the the course of the cycle, and um, especially with this last one um, coming kind of close to when qualifying was starting. But I remember, you know, laying on that field when I got hurt and um, talking to my my wife right after and, and saying, you know, I still have time to get back, uh, recover, and, and hopefully be part of this group. And that was my whole goal through my rehab and, and something that pushed me every day was was to hopefully come and, and be a part of, of the World Cup group and now that that's here it just makes all that hard work worth it. Uh, what's your outlook for yourself in Qatar? What's your outlook for this team? Yeah, I mean the group obviously has so many special players. We have um, such a, a great iten uh, identity, um, great group of people, great group of players. Um, it's a really close-knit group and we know what we can bring, we know we can compete with anyone. So we're going to go out there and, and show that. And then for myself, it's just doing whatever I can to help the team, working you know, hard every day in training. Um, if I step on the field, you know, giving it my all and, and, and showing what I can do, but really just being um, the, the best I can be for the team and doing whatever I can to, to push the team forward.